Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're here with a quick tip about the curve editor. But first, let me show you this buggy that we have released on the server. This buggy has fully rigged suspensions and custom textures done by myself. As you can see, these suspension parts are working together and you can check the nodes for suspension parts to learn how they work and even implement them in your own systems. It also has an extra parameter for engine vibrations and the fan rotates too. So make sure you check the announcements channel on the server to know how you can get it. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, back to the tutorial. Let me quickly draw a path with four corners. I'll align the endpoint to the start point of the path to make a loop. Then I'll create a level sequence. Select the path for the buggy and add the distance track to the sequence. I put two keys at the start and end of my sequence. I can copy the path length and paste it for the end key so the buggy can travel the whole path in loops. I'll then check the speed of the buggy and adjust the time between the two keys so the buggy travels at my desired speed. To slow down at curves, you can put two keys before and after the curve. Then increase the time between the two keys. I'm doing so by selecting the key and then holding control and pressing the right arrow key. Although this works, as you can see here, we have too many keys. You always want to work with as few keys as possible. I'll delete the keys and instead put one key in the middle of the curve, maybe a bit towards the exit. Then I'll select the track, open the curve editor and look at this curve. This shows all my keys for the selected track and currently it's linear, meaning the speed is constant but I can select the keys I added in the middle of curves and manipulate their tangents. Here in this graph, the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is distance. If I make the tangent horizontal, the buggy travels less distance in more time, meaning slower movement. If I make the tangent vertical, the buggy travels more in less time, meaning faster movement. You might want to scale the tangent, but you can't. To scale the tangent, right-click on the key and enable weighted tangents. Now I undo, select the keys and manipulate their tangents together. As you can see, when we make the tangents more horizontal, the curve between the keys will be more vertical, meaning we reduce speed in the middle of curves, but at the same time, we increase the speed on the straight lines. If I close the curve editor, you can see the keys are now gray because they are modified. They were orange before, like this. If you want to scale all the keys together and adjust the overall speed, just scale this bar. That's it, guys. Also, check our new product on the marketplace. These race helmets are highly customizable. You can change the hue, roughness, metalness, brightness, and saturation on them. Additionally, you can set the intensity of emissive lines, their color, and their blinking speed. All of these are keyable in the sequencer. See you later.